In this video, we'll be looking at uh, different ways to classify and organize the nervous system. So there are two major ways to consider this, which is either structurally or functionally. So if we consider the structures of the nervous system, there are two types. The first ones to consider is the central nervous system. So we think about the actual organs that are in the central nervous system. There are two of them, the brain and the spinal cord. Uh, and both of these are actually coordinators uh, in the whole system. So mainly they contain the relay neuron or the interneuron, um, as some of you may be aware of. Now, the other one is the peripheral nervous system. So the word peripheral means on the outside or on the outer edges. So this is uh, referring to any of those neurons that are not part of the central nervous system. So that would include receptors and the sensory and motor neurons. So this is the way that we can classify uh, the nervous system into two types based on their structure. Another way to consider the nervous system is based on its functions. So um, first of all, we can split it into two major uh, groups, which is the somatic nervous system or the autonomic nervous system. So the somatic nervous system is referring to any conscious actions. So for example, you might be consciously raising your arm or you are consciously going for a run um, or um, actually moving your hand from this location to that location. So it's about anything that it's in your control. Autonomic nervous system is the opposite, uh, which is uh, referring to any unconscious or subconscious uh, actions that you take. So for example, your heartbeat uh, or your heart rate, it's not, you're not um, mentally willing your heart into beating is something that you automatically do, right? So the heart beating, for example, or your breathing is a subconscious action. So that belongs to the auto or that is controlled by the autonomic nervous system. Now, obviously in certain uh, situations, the somatic nervous system can override it. So for example, you might be trying to hold your breath while you're swimming. So sometimes those situations can happen, but most of the time we consider, let's say breathing or heart rate to be autonomic. But within the autonomic nervous system, we can further classify them into two different types as well, which is sympathetic and parasympathetic. So sympathetic is referring to any actions that is causing an increase in the activity. So for example, uh, when uh, let's say in a fight or flight response, your body increases the heart rate, right? To help more blood and glucose and oxygen to be delivered to uh, your muscles. So that is a, an example of a sympathetic uh, nervous system or sympathetic response. So parasympathetic obviously is the opposite. So referring to any response or actions that results in a reduction in activity. So when you're trying to calm down or when you're having a relaxing time, you have a reduction in your heart rate or when you're sleeping. That's another one uh, example of parasympathetic response. So there you have it. So the, uh, these are the different ways to classify or organize the nervous system. So to, just to summarize, uh, we can largely think of it uh, either structurally or functionally. So in terms of uh, classifying the nervous system by its structure, we can think of the central uh, and the peripheral nervous system. Or in terms of its function, we can classify them into somatic and autonomic, depending on if the, uh, if the action that is controlled is a conscious or subconscious action uh, and then within autonomic you can consider if it's uh, something that you know if the action is uh, as an increase in activity or a decrease in activity then it will be sympathetic or parasympathetic typical exam questions will perhaps um, give you an example of a particular action that the body is is doing and then they will ask you which type of nervous system it would be controlling or what type of response uh, in the nervous system would this be and that is the organization of the nervous system.